Okay, good evening. We are Group 13, Fish and Chips. And we are a chip manufacturing company. Okay, and we are looking for, right now, we're looking for 60 million dollars, uh, 60 million Swiss francs of investment. And we'll show you exactly how we're going to distribute that. First of all, let me just outline our, our um, presentation today. We'll start with the company identification, company value, our future growth, and of course the requested investment and what we're going to do with the money. Let me introduce ourselves. I'm Edith Sokol, the CEO. We have over here Khamed, which is the CFO, Benit, which is VP of Marketing. Also missing tonight is Owen Reis, um, our COO, which is um, occupied by personal businesses, and Ayelet, which is uh, Vice President of Business Development. We just had a new baby yesterday, so she couldn't be here tonight. <laughs> 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 yeah, just a lovely newborn. Um, our vision, we started with our goal is becoming the leading chip company uh, for the global PC industry. Our mission is of course to deliver cost-effective chips with a smile. We are nice people, so we want to deliver everything with a smile. Um, company value, we are currently marketed as the first company in the chip market in Q7, results from Q7. We, are, we have worldwide operations all over Europe, the United States, and Brazil. Currently we have above 20% market share in our, um, in our industry. So we are among uh, market leaders. We also work with the largest companies of, uh, of PC manufacturers uh, in this game, which told us we are the most reliable company. That's an authentic quote. And we've shown uh, constant growth in both assets and values. Over here you can see the revenues uh, throughout the whole quarters. There's a little drop in Q7. That's because we chose not to produce um, high-end chips. We only produced uh, low-end chips because the, value, um, the current request for it was a lot bigger. You can also see our indicators. All our indicators are much higher than coming in the industry. Results of Q7. This has been a constant growth since the beginning of the game, and we are the leading company in the manufacturing of chips. And just we have also some quotes from the press about values. <laughs> just something we <laughs> want. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so how did we reach these nice indicators? Uh, first, we were very focused <coughs> on the very beginning. We knew we were going to produce chips, and the question was, do we sell to consumers or do we sell in B2B? And we chose to focus, and focus on B2B. Uh, why? Because to win the B2B market, uh, you need to lead with cost, and this is our competitive advantage, to be a cost leader. And by focusing on B2B, we could cut our advertising costs, our sales, we don't have any sales office, or we don't need to pay anything to agents. So we were able to drop down all of our costs and be the leader in the B2B market and have a cost uh, competitive advantage. We are excellent in operation. We have just-in-time inventory. We have zero inventory holding costs throughout the whole queues. Uh, we invest a lot in production efficiency and that's why our cost drops down uh, and even with such a low cost and such a low price that we sell as you saw we're still making 60 over 60 percent gross uh, margin profit uh, our full capacity there's a very very high demand for our chips our full capacity is sold for almost two queues ahead so there's a high demand for our uh, chips more than we can meet uh, we are a very stable and highly liquid company. Uh, our only uh, long-term liability is a 5 million Swiss franc loan, which will be fully repaid in Q8. We will not have any long-term liability. And you can see that our current asset, not taking the long-term assets, in Q7 we are over 25 million uh, Swiss franc in current asset. And 21 million Swiss franc part of it is cash and cash, cash equivalent. If you invest in 16 million Swiss francs, you already have control, as you will see, for about 10 million cash in, in cash Swiss franc. Uh, so you're already getting almost all of your investment back. You can see how stable we are. In Q7, our current ratio is over 500%. We are very stable, we are not a shaky company, and we are a little company in the chip industry. So how are we going to grow the business? As I mentioned, the demand is very high for our chips and we can't meet the demand. So we need to uh, leverage our experience in this market and build new factories to increase our scale and to meet the high demand of our chips. So as you will see, we want to penetrate new markets. 
uh, and expand our operation in Europe and US and the expected revenue uh, part of this operation up to Q15 will be over 35 million Swiss francs. And Yannick will elaborate more on the new markets. Okay, so a few words about why we find this market attractive. Uh, first and foremost, as Ahmed and indeed uh, stress out, we are a B2B um, company. We are concentrating only on sales uh, between companies. And this is why this market is so attractive for us, because the consumer market in the Emirates almost doesn't exist. Another thing is that we believe that in a medium-sized market like this, we can overtake about 25% market share, just like we did in other regions we are operating in. Another thing is that uh, this is a very open, the, the economy in the Emirates is an open economy with attractive uh, governmental support and we would like to benefit this. And uh, we believe that as part of the global expansion, we are... Uh, One minute. We hope to, to, to expand. Uh, this will be the gate to the uh, other market in the South Asia. Um, we would like to implement the strategy we used until this moment, and this is being global up local. We understand that there are cultural differences, and we uh, know that the unique advantage we have here is one of the top management speaking the language, with the, which is the key success factor to enter the market. Um, I have already stressed out the leveraging the experience of the B2B market, and we have established an alliance with a major IT distributor in the Middle East. The tactics uh, are <coughs> listed here. 15 seconds. Listed here, and I will let Hamad uh, to so To build a new plant, it costs us 16 million Swiss francs, and this is what we're asking you for. For 16 million Swiss francs, you get control of 40% of the company. And as I mentioned, 40% for you already means about 10 million in cash that we have in our current assets, you're almost getting your investment back from day one. Uh, with this uh, investment, you'll get your return on investment in 10 Qs the most. 